She's a Tony and Oscar nominee, a New York Times bestselling author, and one of Hollywood's most talented stars, Anna, Anna Kendrick. Kendrick. We recently caught up with the star of Pitch Perfect franchise, which holds the record for the highest grossing musical comedy of all time. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Now, as they say, the pitches are back in the long-awaited sequel, Pitch, Pitch Perfect, Perfect 3. Three. Take a look. That's the ladder that'll take you up to the main deck where the Bellas are. Do not let Fergus hear what I'm doing below. Okay, giant distraction coming up. You sure about this? Have I ever let you down? Dozens of examples spring to mind, if I'm honest. Yeah, you're very unreliable. It's like one of the hallmarks of your personality. I don't think we have time to unpack that right now. Shh. I'll just see you up top. Nobody's gonna die tonight, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that doesn't help. Okay. Okay, ready? I've got my serious face on now. Okay. It's time. Let's do it. Oh! Stop it! Well, just a rescue mission, like on a musical comedy, and um, how there's a rescue mission. Of course, you're doing that. When, when you read a script that comes to you and, and you look at that, do you even do you ever say, "Now, why are we doing?" No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> what was weirder? What was honestly weirder is that I read this, and and um, Rebel Wilson, who plays Fat Amy, does most of the fighting and action and stuff. And what was weird was I was reading it totally surprised, had no idea they were going this direction, and kind of was going. That tracks. Yeah, sure. Of course, of course, of course. Fat Amy like has to rescue everybody and knows kung fu. Of course she does. Um, Didn't she take, did go through like training and oh, Cirque du yeah. Soleil and all kinds oh, of stuff? Oh yeah, to get she ready? did. She did all kinds of training and um, she wasn't in one of the musical numbers because she's busy fighting. And at first I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to have to learn the dance moves. And I saw the training she was doing and I was like, you do it. You got it, Rebel. Love you. Proud of you. You're a superstar. And you said this director that came on board was really Trish, special. Yeah. She was, her name's Trish C, and she directed all the OK Go music videos with yeah. the treadmills and all the kind of high concept music yes. videos that they do. And she came on, she had the best energy. She was like, because it's 10 women in the main cast. It's a yeah. lot of personality. She was just relentlessly upbeat. Down, like up for anything. She was so ferociously talented. Did you wonder like what could we possibly do in Pitch Perfect 3 that we hadn't already done? A little, yeah. but then, you know, why not Boom. jump off an exploding boat? Why wouldn't we do that? And you had the USO. The USO. Was a nice... Yeah, tell us about that part of it. Yeah, That's cool. So, so uh, I don't think that this was yeah. why, but there are a lot of service members that um, speak to us about watching the, the movie, um, which is a, like a surprise yeah. crossover yeah. audience, yeah. and so it was so nice to be able to include the USO tourists as a part of the uh, the script and um, meant that we got to wear like super cute kind of like you know um for the nice. boys, yes. kind of, you know, like that Midler 50s kind of I love that movie, outfit, by the way. So. Wasn't that one of the best movies mm -hmm. for the boys? Yeah. How much are you loving singing? Like, look, when we watch you do it, you look like this is yeah. where you're the happiest. Oh, that's nice. I, I mean, I, I love doing it, but I do, every time we finish one of these movies, or Pitch Perfect, or Trolls, I'm like, yeah. never again. How come? Never Why? again. Because you have to take care of yourself. You're not allowed to have cheese or alcohol. You have to take care of your voice. I'm like, this is garbage. This is unsustainable. <laughs> Do this isn't this. living a life. What is this? What am I, a soldier? God. <laughs> a soldier. So wait, what do you have planned for the holidays? Where are you uh, heading? I'm going to go to Maine for holidays, oh, uh, hoping to have family. a white Christmas. Yeah, very Thomas you're Kincaid. Working, you're working on another movie, too, right? Yeah, I, after this, I'm going back up to Vancouver to finish um, a Christmas movie. It's nice to be making a Christmas movie during Christmas. It'd be really depressing if I was doing it in July. Yeah. You play what? You play uh, I play Santa Claus's daughter. Oh. Yeah, it's very sweet. Like you Santa know, Claus. Uh, it's, uh, well, um, I can't, I can't, can't, can't reveal, can't tell you can't things, reveal. Guys. Okay, that's all right, that's okay, because we're out of time, so sad. Oh, great. <laughs> anyway, uh, nailed it. <laughs> you're one of our favorite little munchkins. We love you. We love Thank you, you guys for having me. It's you. always nice to see you. And quiet and happy. You too. Yeah, holiday. holiday. Yes. Christmas with your mom and your, and your family. Thanks, honey. Yes. All righty, Pitch Perfect 3 hits theaters this 